I got a chance to work at the beginning of Skywalker Sound with the father of Skywalker Sound, Ben Burt. And uh, I remember the first time I was really flipped and so impressed by something Ben did with Raiders. The Hovitos are near. <clears throat> Poison is still fresh, three days. All of a sudden, there is a strange, otherworldly creature, almost a Star Wars creature. I don't know where he got it. And it made that entire jungle scene so friggin' alien. And when I first heard that, I said, this is gonna be a great adventure. It's gonna be a great adventure in sound. I had a conversation, a long conversation with Steve uh, over the phone about the nature of the whole film. You'll come back here for the chair. I think I said to him something about the fact, well, does the hero's hat stay on all the time? And he said, yes, it does. And then I understood what kind of movie we were making. You know, if the hat never comes off, even in a fist fight, then we're, we're in that realm of the uh, classic uh, Saturday afternoon adventure movie. <laughs> We knew that Indy had a whip, and of course we could have pulled the whip sounds from a library since obviously there's been whips recorded in the past, but no, we wanted to do it ourselves. Actually what happened was that Gary Summers, who was recording sound effects with me, spent the day on the set, and uh, the result of that was that Harrison had some time and came over to our editing room, and Gary and Harrison stood out back in the parking lot, and Harrison tried to show Gary how to crack the whip. It was a little too noisy to record it. So later, I took Gary Summers out to quiet locations. And uh, Gary did a lot of cracking of the whip. And we did it in different environments, in the trees, uh, out in the middle of the field. And we built up a library of whip cracks, uh, which was the basis for indie sound. gunshot can just be a pop or a click depending on where you record it because it's just a sudden very brief uh, loud noise like a hand clap. The actual Indiana Jones gunshot was a 3030 Winchester rifle that was recorded. We did a lot of different gunshots. We probably recorded you know a few hundred different guns in different locations. Of course, we would pull the best from that, but the Indiana Jones gunshot wasn't, you know, processed or really manufactured in any way in the studio. It was pretty, it was pretty much exactly as it is in the live recording we did. <laughs> the giant boulder was a tricky sound to invent because it had to have weight, but it also had to accelerate and move very fast, and finding something that big and getting it to move fast was hard. We had uh, several different sessions where we went out and tried to stage a boulder sound, and they were not successful. Um, but on one of the last days, we, um, we were coming back from the location, and we were on a steep hill, and we were in this little Honda Civic station wagon on a gravel road on this mountain, and we were just coasting down the hill without the motor running, and we realized that the car sounded really interesting. Well, we might have the sound here. So I hung out the back and put a microphone near the back tire of the station wagon, and we just coasted down this road. And as the car accelerated, it gave a sense of gathering speed, and it, uh, that ended up being really the basis for the giant boulder. The body blows and punches in the Indiana Jones films was another area that we worked hard and tried to come up with uh, a new sound, uh, although many of the sounds really, I think, were based on what we had heard in older films, the classic sound effects, but I wanted to remake them and do them in stereo and to exaggerate them probably in, in some ways because everything about Indiana Jones was somewhat of a comic book. We tried a lot of different experiments. We beat on pieces of meat. We broke chicken bones. Probably we had our most success with a pile of leather jackets and a few baseball gloves and making a loose uh, pile of this material and then whacking it with a baseball bat. And out of that came the whole library of hits. 
in, uh, in the Indiana Jones films. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.